All right. Hello guys, this is Megagas1702, Behemoth or whatever the fuck you see and call me. My nicknames change all the time. So this video is for audiophile persons, okay? If you're an audio guy, you're into audio and you like audio and you get off on audio, you will uh, probably learn something from this video, maybe find it interesting, okay? In this video, what I want to talk about are gun sounds. How do you... What is a gun sound? How, how do you... Um, like, what parts of a gun sound are important? Uh, and how you can make up... Make, like... Um, Pretty good sound to uh, for yourself. Okay, and this uh, was this video. The reason for this video is uh, the Project Reality 1.0 mod that came out, and I, I really dislike the sounds of the rifles because they lack, in my opinion, they lack punch, they lack character. Okay, they have character, but they lack they lack punch and mechanics, which are two of the very important layers in uh, the sound. I learned a lot myself from uh, Dice, uh, you know, Battlefield uh, franchise. And I also uh, took, a took a look at this presentation they published at um, dice.se slash publications. They put out uh, PowerPoint presentations there, you know, and that's really, really good stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Some games, some games, some games. Weapon sounds aesthetics. Should they sound real? Maybe should they sound super real or maybe just ridiculous? Only the producer knows for sure. That's right, because sound is like it's the other half of the game experience when players play the game. If the sound does isn't right, the whole game will feel fucked up. So you better do a good job at the sound, okay? So sounds always give you a feel, all right? They give always give you a feel. So if you shoot something, you always feel something. It's not like oh, it sounds good. No, it feels good when you shoot a sound uh, when you when you uh, fire a rifle in the game. Do all guns sound the same? No, but actually they sort of do. That's right. Yeah, because uh, all, all you hear in the weapon sound usually is just a bang, the the explosion of the 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 charge in there, and every everything else is just the reaction to the explosion. Okay, so the the explosion is defined by weapon caliber, uh, barrel length, you know, and all the uh, all the rev uh, reverb that comes of the weapon and uh, the surroundings is uh, pretty much. Um, Affected by uh, construction materials and microphone type and whatever location where you record So let's just t take a look at how different guns can sound uh, Just by using different microphones di different preamps uh, different locations Amazing video Okay guys, let's get ready to roll This is a dice recording session. I don't know maybe better yeah, three roll. We're gonna do one long burst from position one with the PKM Here we go That sounds different. A lot of weapon mechanics on this uh, sample. And that's different as well. I like that the most. You can actually hear the sonic crack of the projectile passing. Uh, by uh, before you can hear the gun itself, it's very tiny delay. But if you uh, watch for it, you can you can hear a little snap. Just. Just. You can even he hear better over here. You can really hear the snap of the projectile. Okay, so y as you can hear. Oh, th this is the typical YouTube bullshit sound. You know. Microphone but on board uh, amateur, you know, this is like, oh yeah, this is how real guns sound, this is how real guns sound. That is some... That is some bullshit, you know? No m uh, microphone on the camera in the world can capture the volume of the sound right without distorting, okay? That's why you have professional microphones. And as you heard yourself, like if you take this sample here, for example, the beginning one... I mean, you can make a gun, gun sound out of it, but it's gonna sound crappy because it, it, it lags a lot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna collect these samples and you gotta put them together. Okay, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. Let's keep looking. S uh, sound has layers. Okay, that's, that's also something that really kicked me in when I was tr trying to do gun good gun samples. This really um, uh, made me made me realize something. Okay, that it consists of multiple layers, and I was like, man, but but what what layer should I should I should I put in there? I mean, so it sounds good. 
And this is what really uh, influenced me here. You have the mechanics. The body. And the punch. Okay, you gotta have those three in order to make it sound good, and that sounds pretty good actually already. So uh, this is uh, I wanna have I wanna talk about really something, and this is the punch. Punch is base. Okay, if you ever fired a rifle before in your life, in your life, I fired the G36 of the German army. When you, whenever you fire a rifle, it's like a kick in the stomach. Wh if you've been in a rock concert where the drummer is uh, just uh, slamming his drum bass so the audio guy can set up his microphones, that bass that, that pumps through your body, that's that's punch. Okay, and that makes you feel something. Okay, whenever you feel something, it's bass. It's low frequency. Okay, so I don't understand people who fucking create gun sounds without low frequency or without a specific very uh, intense punch where you're like oh yeah I just felt that I just fired that okay they just make the sample loud and loud and louder without realizing that making a sample louder loses detail it loses definition and in most cases also it also loses the punch base well in some cases it's not even there but you know fuck it if you're making gun sounds you gotta have punch especially when you when you have the first person like um if if it's a sample for when the weapon is looking uh, down the sides and shooting, you have to have the punch to make the player think or feel that he just fired something and the kick came through the shoulder to his whole body, okay? <laughs> you gotta have that shit. So this is how it looks like, you got all these different layers and you gotta uh, record that. That's not interesting for me. Blah blah blah. Dice, there we go. What do I want to show here? Oh, that's this, yeah. The sound consists like also of three parts. You know, there is um, uh, y y th that's what that's what I was talking about. Okay, first of all, you hear the 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 the, the kick, the explosion, pop, 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 all in your palm. You just okay, something's going on. I'm talking about microseconds here. It's just milli. It's just tiny, tiny amounts of time, but they actually make you feel. Uh, you m they make the sound feel awesome. Okay, bam, kick, everything is there. Yeah, what the fuck? Then. Just a couple of milliseconds later, you hear the what? Okay, you hear the you hear the weapon body. Okay, is it a big gun, small gun, whatever? I don't know. And then you hear the wear. It's like the tail. You know, that's how the environment reacts to the sound, and that, that thereby you can tell is the guy in the room, is the guy in outdoors or whatever. T uh, t take a listen to this one. This is just a tail. Let's say it in the open. This is their version of urban. This is indoor small. What? What you doing? Indoor large. You can imagine that indoor small, obviously, uh, the reverb is shorter because the sound waves are eating each other up, you know, and the energy is getting lost in the walls. Alright. Yeah, of course. You gotta have that. Oh! Did you hear the bass? You hear the punch? Okay. That's important. Gotta have punch and guns, goddammit. Even 50 meters away from G36, that bitch still kicks you in the stomach. Okay, now what did I do is, um, I g went into Battlefield 3, one of, my opinion, the best gun sound in the, the game industry, and I recorded uh, just some, some first person uh, samples. J and not recorded, I just recorded some gameplays, just shooting, in order to, uh, I wanted to analyze the sample, analyze what it consists of and stuff, and, um, yeah. Uh, so le let's, just, let's just take a couple of listens here. You can clearly hear the punch in the beginning. Where it really comes into play is uh, when you fire in full auto because... No, no, fuck that. Actually, let's take a look at the sample, okay? This this part over here, this is the whole punch, okay? We have a very, we have a rather short frequency wave over here. About 500 uh, hertz. And we have a about 120 or 100 hertz wave over here. And they two together, I mean, just, just look how short that stuff is. Um, that's it. That's the whole punch. That's the whole thing that makes the gun sound punchy, okay? Everything after that... It's just mechanics. There's no bass in there. There's no bass. All the bass happens over here. That's where the bass happens. You don't need any more than that. You just need a short portion of the sample in the beginning that's bassy, that's punchy, that's gonna la let you know I'm firing a gun. Anything else, don't need no bass. Okay, let's just... Uh, 
let's let's uh, let's enable the equalizer here and take out the bass. Okay, sounds a bit it sounds a bit distant, but I mean, come on. Sounds much much better. Okay. Now let's take a look at the volume, okay? I I see a lot of people they they're doing this to their samples, okay? Yeah, super loud, awesome, everything is loud. Yeah, well, it's fucking loud, but it's 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 distorted, man. It's distorted, okay? And it's just it has no definition. So what you want to do is the punch has to be the loudest part of the whole shot. You can't have the mechanics or any kind of reverb being as, as loud as the punch itself. The punch has to be the loudest part of the whole goddamn shot, okay? It especially comes to play when you have bursts. See that? The punch is just as loud. I mean, uh, this is the first one, then the other, sh uh, that's the other shots. Well, in Battlefield 3, it's like that. Um, it works like that. That the first, the very first shot, uh, the very first punch part of the shot is the loudest, and then comes the mechanics. They make it, they they mix it th even in the samples, and every shot after that is kind of normalized. But okay, you can clearly hear hear that there's punch in the beginning. That's that's every single shot. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the, the, what is it? I think this is the M249. The same principle over here. You have this low, you have the high frequency very, very in the, in the beginning, you have the lower frequency in the back, and then you have the mechanics. And that's it. Okay? It's all the same. Guns sound the same. Okay, they sound the same. You have the punch, you have the mechanics, you have everything. This is... This is the PKP. Same old story. You have the uh, high frequency in the beginning, low frequency in the back, and then the tail. It's, a mo it's awesome. It's all the same. You, hear, you have the bass, it's all the same shit. This is the, this is the MP Rex. Since it's a pistol in the game, they didn't make the sample as a uh, present, you know, it's, it's, it's a secondary weapon. But, same old story. High frequency in the beginning, low frequency in the end, this is the whole punch over here. Okay, that, that's, that's fucked up. Okay, and now the, the crone on top of all that shit is the M98B uh, sniper rifle, okay? Same old story. Since it's a sniper rifle, big barrel, big caliber, they uh, distorted the bass a little bit, as you can see over here. That's that's this distortion right there. You know, they just uh, okay. So we have, again, we have the higher frequency in the beginning, very short, low frequency in the end, and uh, mechanics. Okay, so what did I do? Is I. Um, I uh, low pass the whole thing, so only the low frequencies come through. Because what 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 happens then is um, you can see the bass clearer, and you c you can reproduce or you can synthesize it better. Okay, what I did is just as I selected the area over here, let's say the wave over here, and I took a look at the wavelength, and I uh, what is it? Where is it? There we go. You know, w and I just took it to a look at a look at the wavelength, and what I did is I just I created a punch. You know, the, the here we go. Very first short wave, a bit longer wave, and then you have the bass wave. That's it. That's all you have. That's all you need. That's all you need for a punch. And if you remove the bass, funny enough, it already sounds like distant gunfire. Get it? I mean, it, it, it does. So this is the M16 punch. And I created one more for the M98. It's a bit longer. As you can see, but it's the same concept. You have uh, short waves in the beginning. And you have the clipped 
low low end waves in the end. Uh, that's actually a bit too long. God damn, that's too long. Let's make this like this. Okay. And what you have? Which okay. Now, oh, I forgot. Uh, there, and I forgot something. Uh, mechanics. Okay. Where are they? I'm 16. Get over here. Get over here. Copy marked area. All right. Now what I want to show you is how I how I think. Okay. Now yeah. Okay. 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 We have to punch with the body of the mechanics. Okay. So since PR 1.0 was the thing that uh, bumped me out about uh, the sound, what I want to do is I want to I want to take a sample. Come on, hard drive pull up. I want to take a sample from that. Uh, oh come on, my hard drive failed on me. I want to take a sample from that, and um, I want to uh, beef it up a little bit. Okay, I want to, I want to, I have it. I want to make it so it has punch, and I want to make it so it has uh, mechanics. I want to give it more definition, so it's not, um, so it's not, uh, you know, just loud all the time. Okay, I want the shot, the b initial punch, to be the loudest part of the whole sample, and everything else needs to be. Um, needs to be quieter. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just how guns work, man. You cannot make the anything louder than the explosion itself. Uh, where is the M4? Come on, don't do this to me. US, US M4. Where is it? M4. There we go. I think that's it. That's the one. All right. As we can see, there's uh, media cues in here. This is how the Battlefield 2 engine knows where to loop the sound. We can extract those. Okay, so we can uh, have it loop. Let's 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 take a look at this. Okay, that's not for example for recording, of course, because I'm trying to loop here. It's gonna be a bit loud, guys. So this this is what it sounds like when you have the um, when when you burst fire the M M4. We can actually um, we can actually have that. Hold on. Let's listen to that. Sound familiar? Of course it does. All right, I, it's not a bad sample. I mean, if you look at it. Um, just redo everything here. If you look at it, you, you have the high frequency in the beginning. You have the lower frequency here, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna create a master track. We're gonna put in all that shit. And we need a punch. Where's the punch? Over here, Sam 16 punch. Come over here, bro. And we need you to be at the very beginning. So come on, move. Okay, of course, obviously I uh, selected multiple items. Okay. Now let's put it all down, so we don't get uh, clipped and distorted instantly. The mechanics are in there, but they're muted. Let's take a listen at this. Okay, now I want the punch to be more present. Okay, remember how in the in the real uh, in the real samples you have this low end wave, but it's distorted by this small little waves. That's how sound works. Okay, you have this clean wave like this, and then uh, all the high frequencies get layered up uh, above that, and it distorts. Now I, I don't want the sounds fighting against each other. Okay, uh, too much. So I, I'm gonna reduce the volume of uh, the original sample by a little bit, so that um, let's say three decibels so that the bass comes out better. Uh, this this is the clean sample. This is a sample with the bass. I like it much better already because it has punch. It has, it has a little bit punch. Not enough in my opinion, but it's just to sh show you guys what's going on, okay? Um, okay. Actually, increase that a little bit. I 
like that a lot already. Let's see what happens if we um just just let's let's just burst it, okay? Oh, uh, where is it? Don't do this to me. There we go. Copy selected area of items. This would be the burst. Oops. Sounds much better in my opinion because it has punch, but it, it's not perfect. I mean, no way it's perfect. Jesus Christ. Alright, it's nowhere near perfect, man. Okay, let's put mechanics in there. Alright. Okay, I like that already. This is the original sample. Dry and not punchy and no mechanics. Nope, and this is the sample with the new stuff. I really dislike this. That's, that's, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But we can fix that just by... All right, so let's m have a compressor glue all this shit together for us. Okay, reduce that shit, reduce that shit, then where we go, where we go, where we go. I want, I want it to be. This is a lot of punch. Love it. I like it. Let's take a look how it looks. I mean, you should never took a look at the sample and s look how it looks because looks of a sample is not important. <laughs> mm. 
it needs to sound right. But I'm already pretty happy. If, as you can see, this is the old wave. This is the all, all this stuff here, and it's not as. So let me see. Let me see. Is the definition there? It's it's kind of there. I mean, this is the amplitude. Uh, this is the highest, the highest point of the amplitude, and uh, yeah, of the wave. It's pretty good. How can you not like that? Let's uh, look at it, how it sounds in burst. I love it. I like that. I like that. Pop, 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 pop. It has punch, it has body, it has mechanics. It sounds it sounds good when you're when it's quiet. Listen to this. Oh, our oh, mechanics are too loud. You should not be able to hear the mechanics so loudly. Okay, fuck that. Get out of here. Oh, what did I do? So we kind of made that a little bit more flat with the compressor. Much better, much, much, much better. All right. Oops, that's mono, that's not good. The stereo tracks. Take a look at this beauty, huh? You got the punch in the beginning, you have the quieter body and mechanics. And it's still gonna sound awesome. It's still gonna sound awesome in burst mode. Get the fuck out of here. And you know why? Because it has punch. Be because it has punch, you can hear the a each aspect very, very good. That's awesome. I like that. I'm gonna save that. Okay. Alright, so this uh, has been it, you know. You have to have punch, you have to have mechanics and the body. And I just created a sample and it sounds pretty good. It's nowhere near perfect, but it's good enough for me. Let's take a listen at the original sample. Yes, it's louder, but volume is not everything. Definition is everything. Volume is relative, okay? If you if you put uh, something else down, this is going to be just as loud. I mean, we can we can put up the more volume by just using a freaking limiter and uh, looking how how far we can push the sample without it distorting too much. I can give it three more decibels.
You can oh here uh, here you can hear the the, the, the the importance of definition. It's just one noise, but this one you can clearly hear the the pa -pa 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 -pa, the initial kick, and that sounds much better. Alright, that's it. Hey Anders, d take no offense please, okay? This is not in order to offend you, my man. It's just, it's just my opinion, my criticism, and this is my little take on how to do this shit, and I, I'm pretty sure s since you're an audio guy, you're gonna understand and it's gonna help you in some case, okay? Low end is important. Don't distort your shit like that. Okay, mega out. <laughs>